Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley Saturdays. In the previous video we planted some trees and oh we're getting a recipe for plum pudding right now. That's very cool. For the kitchen of course that I don't use. Anyway, we planted trees and uh, I guess we have a cutscene to start. Hello there Apple Guy. So your first year in Stardew Valley is almost over, huh? If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. And I have some exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. I should have one new seed per season. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. Alright, so a bit more stock for next season. You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor seeds. Beer seeds are the highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere. My apologies. The highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere. That's a promise. So very cool that we now have that dealio. I've got an usual request. Could you keep this a secret? I want to deliver an amethyst to Emily. It's her favorite stone. Tell her it's from me, Clint. I will accept that, of course. Uh, here's a vegetable from a little garden I keep out back. You probably have more veggies than you know what to do with, but oh well. A cauliflower from Caroline. Another letter. Tomorrow we're gathering in front of the Marnie's house for the Festival of Ice. It's a celebration of winter. There will be snowmen, ice sculptures, and an ice fishing competition. Arrive between 9am and 2pm if you'd like to participate. Mayor Lewis. That's everything. So let me see if I have an amethyst. I don't think I do. Granted, I don't really know what an amethyst would look like. I do have an amethyst, so we'll give one to Emily today from Clint. Who is Emily? Which one does Emily look like? Emily is single and she has the blue hair. Okay, so we'll take care of that tomorrow. Anyway, today's episode, let me check my bundle to see if that cauliflower is good for anything. No, it is, it's good for spring crops. Okay, anyway, my deal for today is I am going to beat Journey of the Prairie King, which is the game at the saloon. I will be beating that today that is the plan, and I plan to completely dominate it, hopefully. All right, so we're going to do our best. I did some practice runs on stream last time I was live on Twitch, and uh, they went okay. I got to uh, a decent level, but I did not beat the game. And honestly, I think I wanna blame most of that on the fact that I was reading the chat. So I had um, you know, other things going on in my head, had a couple of other things to manage. So that's my reasoning on why. That's gonna be my my little excuse. So hopefully we do a lot better this time. Gonna have to go through, milk the cows, of course, check the crops. Um, maybe we'll run things to the bundles, just cause why not? We do have some things that could get put in, but don't necessarily need to. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Ultimately, we're just here to, to give an attempt. And I don't know if time passes when I'm in the arcade menu. So it's possible that I could uh, just go for forever. I don't quite know though. Can we put an egg in here? Sell all this extra stuff. We do have a lot of money and that's good because we need to, um, we need to get a lot of money so that we can do different things at the ice festival, which is going to be next episode. As you uh, might've heard in that letter, we have that coming up. So yeah, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time navigating today. We have some library information, good to have. Let's hop into the mines. And um, yeah, we'll start by dropping things off and then we'll go find Emily and we'll get a move on. Maybe we'll swing by the library just to see what's going on. But uh, I'm excited. I think we're gonna have a high chance of winning Journey of the Prairie King. Now I don't actually know what the reward is for beating it, um, if any, but we are going to have a fun time trying. I know that for a fact. Okay, perfect. So let's continue down and over here to the left. Remember on the last day of the season, we have to come to the playground. We heard about that in a note or a secret something or other. I forget what they're called. The lost straps or something. All right, anyway, up here we can contribute a little bit to the uh, to what we got going on. Spring crops, we can put in our cauliflower and we can add large milk to our animal bundle perfect so now we we just need a goat or a duck or a sheep we can't do anything besides stuff without that so that'll have to we'll finish that bundle which technically means we should probably build another farm and or another barn and, and all that stuff but you know i'll worry about that later as i said this season the next big goal besides beating journey of the prairie king would be to um to um ex uh, clean out the farm fully unlock all that space and begin putting that space to use. We have to wait a little bit until the um, that area is open. So I guess we could go to 
Oh, hi, Penny. Would you like some... Oh, no! She hates it! That is despicable. I'm sorry I did that to you, Penny. I've been trying to keep our pace clean, but it always gets messy again. It's hard to run a household all by yourself. That's unfortunate. I am sorry that you have to deal with that. I'm also sorry you didn't like my Holly. I figured you would be the kind of Stardew NPC girl who likes Christmas, but apparently I was wrong. Look at me not knowing how to read people. All right, note from Gunther. Wow, this library has really become great. Thanks to your help. Thanks a bunch. I'm glad I dug that up. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? I didn't want to talk too casually anyway. That's fine. Let's find where Emily is. Uh, she works at the saloon, I know that. But she might not be out just yet. So, let's go swing by her home. You know, nothing's better than just showing up at someone's house and being like, Hey, how's it going? Here I am. What do you want? She is... What house is she? Kent, Sam, Emily, and Haley. She lives with Haley. Haley? Do you like Holly? Uh, that's such a stupid get. Why does no one like Christmas? Heaven's sakes, all the ladies here are just not feeling the winter spirit. Uh, I can't go into her room. You're gonna be late for work. Please come outside so I can gift you this, uh, amethyst and say it's from who it's from. I don't think, uh, Emily was an available bachelorette for a little while because I never really experienced anything with her. I feel like I've given her gifts before, but I, I never thought she was, uh, someone you could marry. Uh, I think it'd actually be pretty cool if at some point in this story, um, in Stardew, there's a character that straight up got a divorce. And then, like, in, like, year two or year three actually became an eligible bachelor. I think that'd be a pretty interesting thing. Um, if you see Alex, could you tell him I'm busy today? Thanks. <laughs> sure. You gonna hang out with me instead? hey -o. Oh, my favorite stone. You're so sweet. Huh? It's from who? Oh, you got it at Clint's? Well, I don't care where you got it from. It's beautiful. Thank you. Smooch! That was not the intended result. I, um... I did my man Clint very wrong and i have to go make amends for that anyway now that we can leave that behind us let's get gaming all right we're gaming in real life now we're gonna game in the game reminds me of when uh can i turn the jukebox on why is there no music bro reminds me of when um twitch was doing the power rangers marathon and um let's just play the saloon theme Anyway, they, uh, they were doing the Power Rangers Marathon, and it was when they added the ability to clip streams and, like, uh, record highlights and stuff. And in their stream, they would always be like, you can clip anything you want! And it would show a clip of a Power Ranger rolling down the hill, and, like, the fake title was, like, rolling down the world's largest hill. And everyone in the Twitch chat would be like, everyone clip the clip! So that's, like, game in, game in the game! Kind of. Anyway, alright. So I am playing Journey of the Prairie King. Here you are. My strategy for this first area is to keep moving. I have played a lot of Call of Duty Zombies back in my day. So I am uh, able to, you know, know the strategies. I don't think their AI is as good as Call of Duty Zombies, so you can't like fully train them around or anything. Um, but you can, uh, you know, do your best, I guess. Not to get trapped in corners, that's a big no-no. Also, you can shoot at diagonals, but it's not the most consistent thing ever, so you have to be careful about that. About halfway through level one now. I was really hoping that I am... Um, oh, extra life! Okay, I was gonna say, I was hoping I'd get some abilities by now, some power-ups or, you know, something. But I have some coins. I've got about five coins. The Sheriff's Badge, that's a great power-up. I'm gonna keep that actually in my back pocket for a little bit. And I'll pick this up, which is the... I turned into a zombie power-up. And now I don't actually know why this is a good power-up besides all the enemies run away from me. That one's a warp. And the rest of this, I should just be able to pick these last set of spawning ones up right here. And there we go. I'm gonna move my mouse. I don't play on a computer, but my mouse was hovering over stop recording and I just really wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally press that. All right, perfect. So here we go, next level. I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch, and I'm using the ABXY buttons 
to fire the weapon as opposed to the um, the Joy-Con actual joy joystick. Okay, I died. First death, and I was actually just after I popped my power up, so that's unfortunate. Uh, anyway, as opposed to the joystick, because I think it's um, a lot easier to to deal with, because I, I understand when I'm like, you know, this is help me helps me under orient myself with the directions. You only can shoot in eight directions in this game, but with a joystick, you have 360 degrees of, of freedom. So, you know, you have to uh, remind yourself that you can't shoot in perfect angles. You know, I can't shoot at a, at a anything besides a, a 90 or a 45. Anyway, we're about halfway through the second level now, and uh, it's getting very crowded. I'm about to lose another life. Never mind, that was clutch. That was clutch for sure. Okay, this power-up that I just got, I should probably explain what the power-ups do, right? People want to know. Uh, this is a rapid-fire power-up. The coffee cups make me move faster. So I grabbed a coffee cup and picked up one to hold in my inventory as well. This is good for waves of zombies, like lots, like hordes of them. Also the ones that take multiple shots, uh, but otherwise it's not the best. You can combine power-ups, so if you get the uh, ship's wheel, which shoots in all eight directions at once, and the um, the bandolier, you can actually shoot rapid fire in all those directions. Incredibly overpowered. Sheriff's badge does a couple of things. It gives you speed up and scatter shot, which is also the shotgun power up. And, um, yeah. So I'm gonna buy eight, which is just extra power. Perfect. So now we have extra power in our inventory with that pistol upgrade. Cost me eight, as I said. All right. Hopefully we get to keep the scatter shot for just a little bit longer. All right, you see, so now we are one-shotting even the big zombies, or whatever they are, the ones that would normally take a little more time to defeat. Okay, uh, I notice I'm getting a little swarmed. That's fine. They are having a harder time grouping up with me, I th or on me. I don't actually know. I know I don't like what I'm seeing, though. It's very difficult to um, recover when you get caught in a corner like that. Yeah, okay, two lives left. All right. Let's see. Unfortunately, there is no real um, good good way to deal with, with getting caught in a corner unless you have a power-up on you. Which, you know, sometimes you will and sometimes you just won't. There we go, we got this another super power-up, which we can just kind of tank uh, invincibility with. We can go and run into different areas. I don't know if this actually um, has the same effect as... Um, I don't even know where I was going with that train of thought, so just ignore me. Oh, if, I was going to say if you could stack it. If you could stack it and put um, different things on there. Sometimes that animal runs by. I didn't mean to activate my power-up, but I just did. Oh well, no big deal. I will hold on to my uh, teleport ability in case I get stuck. I'm moving around the screen very, very quickly, which I am not the biggest fan of. Here we go. This is a combination of rapid fire and the ship's wheel, so we are just clearing out the whole screen um, just by running around. Very good. And now we have the shotgun power-up as well, which enabled us to shoot three pellets at a time in a bit of spread. That clears the whole screen. And we are clear. We can head to the next stage. Alrighty. As you can see, we are losing bits of the field. It's getting a lot harder to maneuver through the middle of the fields. Um, that is intentional. There's a reason for that. It is very difficult to uh, survive when you lose the ability to move around, which is what the game is doing, which is why, you know, getting caught is such a big deal in a corner. So yes, we were able to uh, thankfully beat that with a an explosion, a tactical nuke as it were. Okay, and now we've got some, an upgrade here. We can rapid fire shoot a little bit. Okay, there we are. Okay, I'm feeling a little trapped, so I'm going to... I was going to grab the power of the 1-up, and I just sacrificed it and all the chance I had of surviving. I do have a Sheriff's Badge now, which is awesome. I will be using the Sheriff's Badge a little bit. This is, uh, you know, not what we want to see, in all honesty. If you do have the Sheriff's Badge, it's, I mean, it's very easy just to hold the, uh, hold the... WHAT?! No chance. I'm not gonna sacrifice it like that. Dude, I gotta start playing better. Playing a little more conservative, a little more defensive. I almost popped my ability there, good thing I didn't. 
See, thankfully this is not like Call of Duty Zombies. In Call of Duty Zombies, if you're on a late game and you lose, it is very, very difficult to get your bearings back. Thankfully here, it is a little bit easier to get your bearings back. So we should be fine. Um, I'm panicking a little bit. I thought I had a warp ability in my back pocket. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm noticing it is getting very, very difficult to be able to continue as the zombies are swarming. I don't even know if, if they are zombies. I just keep calling them zombies because that makes sense to me. All right. Well, now we kind of have the uh, the range of freedom, which we do like to see. We are a little invincible from everywhere. I should uh, keep that ability in my back pocket. It's much better than a, uh, a coffee cup by far. Speed is nice, but it's not at all necessary. You're kidding. You're kidding. Alright, well, that was significantly less fun than I thought it was going to be. I've been playing for uh, about half an hour now, and uh, I've gotten through two attempts off camera, and that game is really, really not fun. So, I think I'm going to change today's episode to being one about playing that godforsaken video game. And I'm going to try and find something actually fun to do, instead of that. And I know, exactly zero people will be disappointed because no one really cared about it anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna move on. Can you tell I'm a little salty? I'm a little salty. I absolutely despise that game. And I have no clue why I even thought it would be fun, in all honesty. I guarantee I'll play it again at some point, but there is just no way I'm going to sit here and dedicate a full any amount of time in my life to trying to full beat that game. Besides, I mean, maybe like I'll occasionally play it. Jeez. We're going to clean out the farm, it looks like. That's instinctively what I went to, so that's what we're going to do. It needs to get done anyway. Very good to get that on the way. All right. See, I hate having to spend time doing stuff like that, because now I don't even know how long this video is going to be. I know it's going to be the length of a Stardew Day, but I don't know if that's a 10 minute Stardew Day, or a 20 minute Stardew Day, or whatever. Um, yeah. I know there's like, other videos I can watch online, that's like, how to beat Journey of the Prairie King on your first try- I don't want to. It's not that I don't want to beat it. I just don't care enough right now, or what I think will be any time in the near future to want to invest in trying to beat that game. So, you know, I guarantee you there's videos of people beating it already. It wouldn't have been anything interesting for me anyway. Anyway, let's just progress forward. This is why I like doing games that I'm familiar with, like my Nintendo Let's Plays. Because I know what's happening then. If something bad happens, it's my own fault. But here it's like... I don't know. I'm gonna stop talking about it now. Anyway, so shoot, I guess we just cleaned up the bottom right corner of the farm, didn't we? I guess we did. For 114 uh, stone and a handful of wood. Which is good, because I guess we can get working on another barn now. So we can buy those goats and then eventually get the goats to... Chicken statuettes? The heck is a chicken statuette? It's an artifact. Cool. Alright, let's clean- oh my gosh, there's so many wiggly worms. A second chicken statuette? That's a lot of chicken statues. That one's just a- a worm. Uh, winter root. Alright, that's pretty common. Alright, so... I don't really have plans for what to do here, in this area of the farm. Um because I'm obviously not planting any more crops in the winter season, and I don't know how many crops I'm gonna buy for the um, the, the spring season. Probably just enough to fill up my, uh, I'm starting to feel exhausted. I have an energy tonic, and thus I will drink that so that I can continue to work. Anyway, I don't know what my plan is as far as um, the next season. That's all gonna go in the water. That's so frustrating. Just because I already set up all those sprinklers, so I'll probably just use that sprinkler setup. Um, and then profit from there. I know in games like this, I, like in Animal Crossing, when I played Animal Crossing, I cleaned out a nice big section for my town, 
Um, and then I left a section that was like the nature preserve and I just didn't touch it. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do in Stardew Valley or not, because it makes sense too, you know, in case you need wood or something. Because I doubt we just keep, you know, we grow trees just for wood. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I have no clue. I also don't know how much wood I need for the, um, the, the barns. I know I built one before, so it can't be that much. It might be hardwood, honestly. I also wanted to get a stable going. Maybe we'll take care of that pretty soon. We'll do something productive. Um, well, not next week, because next week is the, uh, w the winter fair, the snow fair. So we'll take care of that afterwards sometimes. Yeah, that'll be great. Gosh, I can't believe I'm in such a bad mood from just a single arcade game. This is so terrible. Alright, well, at least I'm going through with the recording because part of me was about ready to click stop. But no, you don't click stop, you just push through. That is my third chicken statuette. I don't know if that's the only thing you can get on the farm in terms of like a an actual artifact. Or if I'm just incredibly unlucky. But yeah, chicken statuettes for the win, I guess. Alright. I'm really putting work in. Can I get in there to collect all that? No, that's fine. I didn't want that wood anyway. Gosh, I can't believe they would program the game. Concerned Ape, what are you doing? I need my wood. Hey, what's that up there? I never actually have been up to the top corner of the farm before. There's a, a statue of some kind. Isn't that neat? It's a secret gateway. Is it actually a gateway? Oh my gosh, it is. What is this? Apple guy, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year? Whoops, I think I'm accidentally defiling Grandpa's grave. Uh-oh. That's an accident. I think he will understand. He left this farm in pretty awful condition, and now I'm leaving it in a pretty good condition. But also, that's ominous. The dead will rise in our third year, apparently. Happy New Year! Here he is. I wonder what's in there. I'm not going to look it up, and I don't want anyone to tell me, really, but boy, will it be a great surprise when we get to year three, whenever that happens. Honestly, there might come to a time when I just want to find that out, and I'll just sleep for six months <laughs> in-game. Alright, I'm almost out of energy again, but we did a good job cleaning up a bit of the farm. Did some interesting stuff today, some rage stuff today. Typical uh, gaming session, I'd say. Yep. Alright, let me just finish chopping this tree out. And this one too. Alright. Total haul, 554 wood and 152 stones. Let's see what's going on in this cave. There's probably some mushrooms for us. Yep. Common mushrooms. A shant- a morel and a chanterelle. That's fun. Okay, well. Thankfully now I can sell these items and uh, leave this uh, forsaken Stardew Day behind me. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And uh, I recommend that we all do that, really. Because this was not my best moment. How many... I got so many chicken artifacts and I think I just sold them all at once, which is fine. I wasn't going to use them for anything anyway, but... Seems weird. So our total stone is 450 or 444, and our total wood is now just under 600. Yeah, all right. We had a starty day. <laughs> it wasn't good nor bad, but that's it. So I want to thank you all so so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me. You get my videos around. I'll catch y'all back here next time for the next episode of Stardew Valley Saturdays. Until then, as always, take care.